We won't get July's local unemployment numbers for another couple of weeks, but Lubbock's numbers were better in June. The Texas Workforce Commission reported the number is 6.9% here, better than 9.4% though for the previous month. A year ago, though, before COVID, that number was just 3.3%. But one help wanted posting caught our attention. Several future positions being filled for a new Planned Parenthood location in Lubbock. It's been seven years since the two previous locations here closed due to a lack of funding. Lubbock State Senator Charles Perry played a big part in cutting off that funding because they performed abortions. But there are some Lubbock citizens who think of Planned Parenthood as a positive thing. KMAX Amy Cazera takes a look. Anybody that knows me and has watched my legislative career, uh, my really non-negotiable is when it comes to life. With five new positions open on their website, Planned Parenthood of Greater Texas says they are expanding their services to Lubbock. But Senator Perry has already released a petition against the organization. I'm proud to live in a community that is very deep in its faith and its beliefs. But in a community with a high number of teen pregnancies and a school district that teaches abstinence, some feel Planned Parenthood is a necessary resource. We're told that abstinence only is the only education that would be offered. It was a concern to me as a young woman about why more people aren't learning about contraception and family planning. Ramos says Planned Parenthood can help mothers who feel they have no other choice and are contemplating dangerous methods of abortion. I'm aware of young women who have attempted self-abortions and had very negative consequences, psychological and emotional. I also know women who have attempted suicide in order to abort a fetus. But Senator Perry says the organization promotes a false narrative, saying that their same resources are available at existing facilities in Lubbock. They advocate they provide pre-birth control and other women's health issues. We have supplemented um, that void that was perceived to be created. It was not ever created. In the state budget, we have a women's health program that would be expanded access to all of those providers. And while this may be true, getting access to that care can be more difficult than initially perceived, according to Ramos. Many other health care providers, uh, there tend to be a lot more red tape, um, or it wasn't a place where you know you could go to be in a safe space to talk about family planning matters.